Hello everybody, Lusty here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dead by Daylight with stretched resolution. So first things first, you want to be in your desktop and you're just going to want to right click and then find your graphical configuration screen. I'm using a GTX 1060 graphics card and therefore I will be using the NVIDIA configuration screen. You might be using a graphics card from a different brand and therefore you might not have the same graphical configuration screen as me. So what you're going to want to do if you don't use an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll want to make sure that you find out what graphical configuration screen you have. If you simply mimic the steps that I take in this video, then I'm sure you have a similar effect in whatever configuration screen that you might be using. Another thing to note is that if you want to do this with an NVIDIA graphics card, I'm pretty sure the model has to be a GTX 1060 or later. If you're using a GTX 1050 or older, I'm pretty sure that you won't be able to change these settings. Anyway, you're just going to want to open your configuration screen and it will look something like this. Don't worry if you don't speak Dutch because everything should be in the same place. All you have to do is just look in the order of the buttons and just click the same ones that I click. So on the left there will be a section for your monitor and you're going to want to click on change resolution. Once you click that it should look something like this. There's just going to be a list of a plethora of different resolutions that you can choose from. But we're not going to use any of these because we'll be creating our own custom resolution for Dead by Daylight. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own custom resolution. You want to click on customize. And then what you're going to want to do is click on create custom resolution. Once you click that, it will bring up a screen that looks something like this. And what you're mainly going to want to focus on are these two little boxes. Here you can fill in the dimensions you want to use for the resolution that you're going to be creating. So let's say I want to play Dead by Daylight on 1600 times 1080. Then all I have to do is just change the horizontal value to 1600. This is already on 1080, so I won't have to change it. Here you can change the refresh rate and the amount of hertz that you'll be using. And since I have a 144 hertz monitor, I'm not going to change this and just leave this the way it is. Then you're going to want to click on test and it should look something like this. Now you want to make sure that you accept the changes before the timer runs out because otherwise it's just going to revert to your default resolution. And then your resolution that you just created will be here in your custom list. You're going to click on OK and then you're just going to want to have to screw up and then it should be here in your custom resolutions list. Now, if you can't see your resolution in this list, then you're going to want to make sure that it's actually ticked here. If it's ticked, you can just close this up and then you can just apply your settings. Now, once you're done with that, you want to make sure that you go over to your change desktop size and position tab. And then you want to make sure that full screen is ticked. You don't want any of these other options. You want to make sure that full screen is ticked so you don't play Dead by Daylight with black bars and you can actually play it on stretch resolution. So every time before you launch DVD, you're going to want to open your configuration screen and then scroll up to your custom resolutions and choose whichever one you want to play on. As you can see, I already added three different ones that I can switch between, but for now, we're going to be testing the one that we just added, which was 1600 times 1080. It's going to accept our changes and then you can close this screen if you want to. And now we're just going to go ahead and launch the game. So as you guys can see, we're on the main menu of Dead by Daylight, and I'm just gonna click on a roll so I can, uh, I'm just gonna open the lobby so you guys can, uh, get a clear review of what it would look like when you're playing on Stretch Res. So right now I'm on 1600 times 1080, and this is what it would look like. But as you can see, there's not a whole lot that changes because 1600 times 1080 isn't really as extreme of a stretch. So I'm gonna change it to 1440 times 1080, and you can see that it's already a lot different. Now we can lower these dimensions to 1280 times 1080 and it will be even more stretched out and finally we can go all the way down to 1080 times 1080 and it would look something like this. So as you can see it comes down to how low you want to make these dimensions. I highly suggest that you just try out different ones and see whichever one works best for you and whichever one you like the most and start using that and have a lot of fun playing stretch resolution DVD. So yeah, that's going to do it for the Stretch Res tutorial for Dead by Daylight. If you guys have any questions, then please feel free to put them down into the comments below. I'll try to respond to each single one. And other than that, that's all there's to it. If this tutorial helped you, then please feel free to give it a like so other people that might be interested can see it. And if you want to see more of my content, you can always subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, with that all being said, I'll see you in the next video.